Hey there everybody, Aaron Rath here from Rats Tesla. And just like everybody else, I just got 12.3 on my Tesla Model Y. So I actually have two Model Ys. We'll look at them in the garage here. So on the right here is my wife's um, Midnight Silver Metallic. It's a 2023 Model Y. It has hardware four, it's a long range, has hardware four and does not have ultrasonic sensors. We call her Tesla. On this side, we have my 2021 Model Y Performance. It has hardware three and it has ultrasonic sensors. Um, so we're going to take these cars today up to the high school. I'm just gonna drive them up to the high school and I wanna look at the auto park feature. So we all know that this car without ultrasonic sensors has the vision only and we, we've, you may have seen videos at what the auto park looks like. Seems like they put the old auto park back in the older Teslas that we used to have and they took out. So we're going to go try it. We're going to test it out with uh, slow poke first. Then we'll go back to the same spot and we'll show you what the screen looks like for Tesla. So let's, let's get to the location and then we'll show some of the parking stuff. Okay, so this is my Tesla. This is the 2021 and I want to show you that I am on 12.3.3, so we're on 2024.3.10. This is a 2021 Model Y Performance, so it has ultrasonic sensors and um, it has hardware three. So let's look at what the auto park looks like. So we'll put it in drive, we're in a parking lot and it doesn't recognize any spots yet. So, but as we pull up, I wanna do it real slow and what you're going to see is down here you're going to see a p pop up eventually so it doesn't recognize them as easily as the new does so let's kind of get going now you can see the p so it recognized the spot so we'll hit the p and now it's going to go into that spot i have to put the car into reverse i'll put the car into reverse and hit the start button now the car for some reason puts the blinker on but you can see that it's going through the parking motions itself. It's working to get in between the lines. It's trying to do as best as it can, but it stops there. Now it's put the car into drive to move it forward. All the while I can watch the, the parking happening and now it's going to go back into reverse and we'll put the, it'll move the car into the spot. Now you can see there were a few extra steps there that it took for me to do it, but it got me parked into the spot. Once it stopped, I get the auto park complete. It puts the parking brake on for me and puts the car into park itself. So that is what auto park is like in a older vehicle that has ultrasonic sensors and vision in the car. So now let's get into my wife's car in this same parking lot and let's see how it looks. All right, so now we're in my wife's 2023 Model Y long range. It has hardware four and it has, does not have ultrasonic sensors. So as we pull up the software tab, we'll look. She's on 12.3.2.1 which is 2024.3.6. So ultrasonic versus non-ultrasonic is the difference in the version. Dot six is no ultrasonic sensors. Dot 10 is with ultrasonic sensors. So now let's put it into drive and we're gonna go into the same parking lot and you can already see that it sees parking spots and it brings up the P for the to park in them. It brings up more than one so you can see when on my car, when I did this, it only brought up the one spot, but I can bring up all these spots and I can pick on one and hit start. And now it's gonna take me to that parking spot, which was up on the left side of the car, on the driver's side of the car and put it in. With the car that has ultrasonic sensors, it would only do the parking spot that was next to the car, not the one sorry it'll only show you that not the one any one that you wanted to pick so you can see that without the ultrasonic sensors the auto park is quite a bit better than 
with the ultrasonic sensors this uh, vision parking and you can see it got in there a lot easier than what my car did for the other parking it backs in it puts it in park turns the parking brake on puts the car in park and here we sit so much different between the two models and the big difference is ultrasonic sensors versus no ultrasonic sensors so i want to wrap this video up sitting in my wife's car tessa you saw the differences between 2024.3.10 in the car that has ultrasonic sensors slowpoke that was the first video we watched versus 2024.3.6 the car without ultrasonic sensors that's the car we're in now the the with ultrasonic sensors is the old auto park that we used to have before they removed it it only gave us the option of picking one parking spot and you had to drive by that just a little bit to be able to get to that parking spot with the new version you can pick a parking spot within the parking lot and the car will drive to it and then back into it i will have you know um a lot of people wonder why only backing into it i think it's just easier for the car to see it's got better vision because the the pillar cameras look backwards so it gives it that better uh, profile look without having to look forward the car does not have a front facing camera so it can't tell that depth perception in front of it but it has a rear facing camera so it can see the line where it's backing up to so that's why we go in reverse just wanted to show you a quick video today of the differences between ultrasonic sensors and no ultrasonic sensors when it comes to auto park. Uh, that'll do it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment, tell me what you think. I, I heard rumors that eventually the cars with ultrasonic sensors will be getting the same auto park. We'll see how long that takes, but you never know. It could happen today. It could happen tomorrow. It could be a month. The way they're rolling out these updates right now for, for FSD 12.3, I, I don't know. It could be tomorrow. Who knows? But I don't know. So, you know, if you do know, drop a comment below. But that'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. As always, get out, go drive, be safe, have fun, and uh, use your free month of FSD not beta anymore, supervised, so that you can learn how to use FSD. And then, you know, I would, uh, if it's you, if it's me, well, I know what I'm doing. When my trial is over, I will be resubscribing. I subscribed for a very long time. I have not been a subscriber for the last three months. And that's just because 11.4.9 was very useless for me. So I stopped that uh, subscription. But I will be resubscribing once uh, my free trial period is up. Thanks for watching today. And uh, we will catch you in the next video.